This is Cables GL, a visual development platform that uses a node-based approach to programming creative applications. What exactly does that mean? First, let's talk about why we've started using it. Hi, I'm James Hackett. As part of our internal R&D process, we're continuously evaluating software and hardware tools that allow us to push our client project work into new and exciting places. We've been interested in cables for its workflow and how quickly it can help us prototype complex, real-time visuals. While we can't share some of the client work we've been creating with it, I'm happy to share some of the insights into our process of experimenting as we help our clients respond to a need for many of their initiatives. The most important being the wholesale move to virtual engagements from venues like live conferences. Let's get into how Cables works and take a look at the UI. The main project container in Cables is called a patch, which is similar to a recipe. The idea is to choose different ingredients or operators, each with varying functionality that change the characteristics of our final output. That's what these nodes are with the inputs and outputs along the top and the bottom. Using cables to connect each of them together determines how information flows between them. Each operator can be configured further with this parameter panel. As we follow these connections down to the bottom of the patch, we have an operator that renders all of these connections to this visual that we see here in this output panel. Let's put that into full screen and see what we've made. Here we have a 3D model of the heart. You can see here that we can easily rotate that around. Using the keyboard, we can pull up a settings panel that includes some features we defined to test out the tool with. First, we'll toggle to see a cross section. We can hide and reveal additional layers of how the model was built. See how some animation effects perform? We can distort the model for demo purposes, which can lead to some pretty interesting abstract visuals. We can also easily change the color scheme and save out images of what we've made. In the video description, we'll share a link to this so you can interact with cables yourself. While this is just a simple example meant to explore features and capabilities, it should give you an idea for the potential of this tool. Cables has been designed so that the code is incredibly light and can be easily integrated into a full range of digital properties. We found it can really add a lot of creative, engaging interactions, ultimately for more impactful storytelling. Whether it's working with 3D models, image processing, or building more complex interactions, Cables has added a lot of possibilities for how we approach virtual engagements. We're also looking forward to, though, for how we can approach these tactics as conferences and events shift back to physical spaces. This same approach to rapid prototyping can be done with more powerful tools that are better suited to physical installations. The tool that we've been looking at this for is Touch Designer, made by another local Toronto company, Derivative. Taking a look at their UI, we can see a similar approach of connecting operators together to create dynamic visuals, again, importing 3D models to interact with. We've also been exploring the capabilities of creating generative visuals and mimicking natural systems, like those found within the human body. With a more extensive list of operators to work with, we can also use it for things like projection mapping or working with physical sensors, as a few more examples. While we're excited to share more of this work, we're also excited to share more of these videos. We'll be taking some more looks at how our R&D initiatives are making their way into project work. So if you'd like to be notified the next time we share some of these videos, here are a few places you can follow us and hopefully you'll see us in the next one.